Welcome back to Let's Go Geo, everyone. So today, it's time for another featured Friday specimen, and this is what we have today. So take a look at these pieces I have. Very cool. Nice shimmer on the surface there, and kind of a tingy sound there. I have a couple of pieces. These are some fairly large pieces. So the way that this goes is I show you guys specimen and you you have to figure out what it is so again uh, asterisk this is not always the best way to identify a mineral if you're in the field and you want to identify you will use various identification techniques which I do talk about here so check out the video if you really want to get into proper mineral identification but this is just kind of a get your feet wet and also check out some things from my collection that I really like or want to showcase and uh, yeah Kind of just for fun around here. So there's that piece. Let me get you some good views of it. So you can start to guess. As usual, drop your guess in the comments and don't cheat. Put your guess down there before I reveal what it is. I will reveal it in at the end of the video. But take a guess and put it in the comments. Let's look at another one. I have some more here. Quite similar, but a different piece, a little thinner. Again, we'll listen to that. That's what it sounds like. It's kind of tingy. A little bit like a wind chime or a seashell. Okay, very glistening on that, that sun hitting off of it. Um, and just one last chunk. This one's a bit thicker, so you can kind of see the edge there. And for this one, how about I give you guys a hint? Let's do a hint. Um, let me see if I can figure out, huh? Okay, there. I'm gonna scratch it with my fingernail. That did scratch it. So that's your hint. Okay, so if you previously made a guess, make another guess. See if that helps you. Do you know what mineral looks like this that I can scratch with my fingernail? I hate doing it, it's such a pretty specimen, but it is a good way to figure out what this is. So I give you guys a hint on today's. And now it's time to reveal it. So again, keep in mind, there's lots of different ways, um, lots of different tests you can do to various minerals. And you wanna be careful because this one, uh, it can look like other minerals in the field. So you don't just wanna guess by visual, you want to do a few tests. Um, scratch test is a good one for some of the minerals it looks like. It can look like quartz in some ways, there are differences, but um, it can look like calcite in many ways, there are differences. Um, and, but it's not. This is actually a big chunk of gypsum. You might hear about this mineral and people might use the word selenite. That is the same, technically the same thing. It is a form of gypsum. There are many forms. There's an alabaster form of gypsum, which I will show. Um, I may have already showed some of it here at Let's Go Geo, but I will talk about that more here. But yeah, very cool. Um, we one great place to look for gypsum. There's several different, but, um, Around the red beds, you'll find a lot of gypsum, and sometimes you'll find some really thick uh, layers of gypsum in there. So that's our featured specimen for today, guys. Um, as usual, I will continue to feature something from my collection, something off the shelf, or something in the field um, that I just want to show you and see if you can guess what it is. Just a little fun challenge here at Let's Go Geo, and help you uh, learn about and, and get introduced some new minerals or interesting specimens. Maybe get you excited about getting out there and finding some yourself. Um, if you wanna learn, if you wanna get into rock hounding, I have a video here um, that will help you get started on building a rock hounding kit because there are certain things you want to take with you or have available. Um, so that's just a nice little intro to help you figure out what those things are um, and you know, kind of a cheap kit you can throw together. So check out that video. I'll put the link here. Uh, I'll stick it into the description eventually. Um, kind of a rock hounders toolkit. And there's also that one I mentioned about getting started with mineral identification. That's really important if you're just getting started. Identification helps you figure out what mineral it is, but it also helps you find it in the field. Believe it or not, you learn how it's associated, what types of rocks it's associated with, where you think you would find it what layers to look in, fun stuff like that. Plus, then you kind of know, you know, what you're looking at. So check that out, and I will see you guys on the next feature and on the next adventure here at Let's Go Geo. Bye.